If you've seen our list, the 25 most dangerous animals in the world, then you know there are some weird animals in the wild that are not too cuddly. From four-legged land dwellers to water paddling sea life, evolution sure does come up with some bizarre creatures sometimes. It's the nature of things. Diversity only makes the world a rich and vibrant place to live in. So, while we talked about dangerous animals before, this time around, we're going to take a walk on the weird side as we introduce you to some of the most unique life forms on this planet. I'm Mike with List25, and here are the 25 uh, weirdest animals on Earth. I'm going to start with dog. Cat. Look, I just found this at the studio. These aren't them. Unless you really think these are weird animals, my favorite weird animal is pasta. This intro sucks. Mine's salad. You like salad? I hunt it from time to time. That's true. Twenty-five. Axolotl. The axolotl is a species of Mexican mole salamander whose larvae failed to undergo metamorphosis, and thus the adults remained gilled and aquatic. They originated from the lake that underlies Mexico City and are often used in research due to their curious ability to regenerate themselves. 24. Hagfish Having been called the nastiest and most disgusting creature in the sea, the hagfish lives deep below the surface of the waves. When it gets hungry, it attaches itself to a passing fish, bores its way through its skin, and then consumes the fish from the inside out. I mean, that's how I eat cake, so I don't see what the problem is. That's not how I eat cake. Oh man, it's fat jokes, here they come. 23. Sun Bear. Also known as the Dog Bear due to its small stature and extremely long tongue, it's found in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia. 22. Star-nosed mole. Inhabiting the northeastern United States and Canada, the star-nosed mole has 22 miniature tentacles at the tip of its snout that it uses to forage for food. 21. Angora rabbit. Coming from Ankara, Turkey, these hairy rabbits were popular pets among French royalty in the 1700s. They're often bred for their immense wool coats. 20. Dumbo octopus. Due to the ear-like fins protruding from their heads, they've been likened to Disney's famous elephant, after which they were named. Living at extreme depths, these creatures are a rare sight. 19. Yeti Crab More formally known as the Kiwa Hirsuta, it was only discovered in 2005 deep within the South Pacific Ocean. Its hairy pinchers contain bacteria that may be used to detoxify the water around the volcanic vents where it lives. Harry Pinchers is not a th word sentence that I thought I'd say to the... 18. Leafy Sea Dragon Found along the coasts of Australia, this marine animal resembles a piece of seaweed as it floats in the water. It's so well camouflaged that the only thing to give it away would be the occasional swiveling of an eye or fluttering of an appendage. 17. Tarsier Deriving their name from the extremely long tarsus bones in their feet and along with their humongous eyes, these creatures are not only extremely strange looking, but have also been known to perform ninja-like feats of athleticism as they catch birds in mid-flight while leaping from tree to tree. 16. Chinese Goose As strange as it looks, this is an extremely productive breed of goose as the female can lay over 60 eggs during the season. 15. Walking Stick With some species growing over a foot in length, these masters of disguise are found all over the world, but mainly in Asia, South America, and Australia. But the ones in Australia will try to kill you. I was looking at ducks. <laughs> 14. Kangaroo Rat with cheeks that extend all the way back to its shoulders, which is actually, I guess, this way, it's easy to see where this rodent gets its name. After filling them with food, it empties them back into its burrow by turning them inside out with its paws. Uh, I can't do it. Look, I can't do that. Ow, that's awful. 13, Blobfish. Inhabiting the deep waters off of Australia, these fish are adapted to living at extreme pressures. Although they lack a significant amount of muscle, it's not really necessary for them, 
as they feed on anything edible that floats past. 12. Commodore. One of the larger breeds of dog, it's covered with white curly hair resembling dreadlocks. Contrary to what you may think, Commodores do not actually shed very much, and these hairy puppies are agile. 11. Sea Pigs. These deep sea creatures are closely related to sea cucumbers and can easily be found living in groups of over 1,000 or more on the ocean floor. 10. Gharial. Usually found in northern India, this large species of crocodile spends most of its life in the water. The bulbous growth on the nose of males is used during mating to produce gurgling and bubbling sounds. Talk about attractive. Ladies. <laughs> You're keeping that, aren't you? Oh, yeah. God. One of the greatest things you've ever done. Damn it. Nine, naked neck chicken. An uncommon sight on any continent except Europe. It goes without saying, but this breed of chicken has feathers everywhere except for its neck. Eight, Hispaniolan Solinodon. This is one of the few species of mammals capable of producing toxic saliva, and it was the dominant predator on the island of Hispaniola prior to colonization. However, it's not developed any effective defenses to ward off predators that were introduced by human settlers, like dogs and cats. Seven, shoebill. Related to storks and also known as a whalehead, it's obvious where this East African bird gets its name from. It's one of the largest birds in the world and can grow to be over three feet or one meter tall. And they were, I think I mentioned this last time these guys were on the list, but they were the inspiration for the, uh, the loft wings in uh, Zelda Skyward Sword. They also, if you ever see one in public, or in public in, in just in real life, they kind of look like giant Muppets. Six, Saiga. A very unique looking antelope, the Saiga is known for its distinctive nose that protrudes down over its mouth. It reproduces efficiently in spite of human encroachment upon its habitat, although in recent years it has become more endangered. Five, long-eared jerboa. Resembling mice, not much is known about these small jumping rodents. Their habitat consists mostly of northern China and Mongolia, and they usually come out only at night. Four, hairy frogfish. Also known as an anglerfish, this hairy hunter's dorsal spine is topped with a fleshy lure that it moves back and forth through the water to mimic the behavior of a marine worm. Three, slender loris. Inhabiting the jungles of Sri Lanka, this nocturnal creature has huge round eyes that allow it to hunt for insects at night. They're slowly going extinct, however, as they're killed for their supposed magical properties by natives and poachers alike. Two, Ai Ai. Found in Madagascar, the Ai Ai is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Often noted for its unique foraging techniques, it taps on trees until it finds a larva, gnaws a hole in the wood, and inserts its middle finger to pull them out. One, Sphinx Cat. This curious breed is known for its lack of hair and highly extroverted behavior. They cannot stay outdoors for too long because they are susceptible to both sunburn and hypothermia. And uh, I'm asking Tristan to put a video here. There was one, we went to a cat cafe in, uh, in, in Seoul, and this one, it was a hairless cat, it loved my beard because it had no hair. So I'll give that to you. Hopefully you guys will see it. We'll see if I can get the file to them or not. So, have you ever seen any of these animals in real life? What animal do you think looks the most strange? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. Poor blobfish, though. It looks fine until you bring it on land and it's also, it's na we named it the Blobfish. Con you, he's not winning any contest. That's we did not start him off with up here. I love my cats. Your fine. Your cats are strange looking. They're beautiful. I just said, what's the most strange looking animal you can? You I'm said not my cats. About that part, I'm just saying I love my cats. Well, now now your cats are on this. Um. Number I zero. An no, I have two in Japan. I saw one in Gainesville. We had one in Gainesville. Yeah, they're at the aquarium. Oh. Uh, number zero, Tristan's cats. They're weird and ugly, apparently. No. You put them on this list. 
Yeah, you added them to this list. list. Of animals I love. No, that's not what this list is. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.